First, there was a face on Mars. Wait, not this one. This one. Then there was another face on Mars. This time, it appeared to be Gandhi. Yeah, this Gandhi. And then, there was this. Some sort of a dude walking across Mars. And now we have something entirely different. We have what appears to be a doorway on Mars. What is going on? Hello, wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be talking a little bit more about all of the stuff that we've been finding on Mars over the past few years. Although it's really more of a psychological exploration than it is of actual things being found. But more specifically, we're going to discuss this doorway on Mars, how it was most likely produced, and discuss some of the other really unusual, really weird, really strange objects and things and shapes discovered on Mars in the last few decades. Starting, of course, with that first face, the iconic face on Mars, that was even featured in the episode of the X-Files. And if you've been following the story long enough, you know that, well, first of all, there is no face. Here's what the high-resolution image of all of this looks like. And though it does have some facial features here and there, the three-dimensional reconstruction of all of this determined that it's actually a somewhat interesting geological structure. But seeing faces in a lot of different objects and a lot of different types of features, such as, for example, right here, face of a Mickey Mouse, is known as pareidolia, a concept that refers to seeing actual shapes or actual objects in something that is not an actual shape or an object. Such as, for example, seeing the smiley face in this, which just happens to be the backside of a military jet. And naturally, seeing faces, recognizing faces, or trying to understand what these faces try to portray to us is part of the natural survival for the human species with pareidolia being a very important natural adaptation for a very social species like us. But object recognition and facial recognition takes a relatively large part of our brain, specifically the occipital lobe, in order to function properly. And it's actually known that a damage to this area can often lead to a lot of different disorders where people are unable to recognize objects or faces. The most famous example is what's known as prosopagnosia also known as face blindness, the inability to recognize faces or sometimes even know that you're looking at an actual person, with the area right there being responsible for all of this. Apparently Brad Pitt has this, but I think the most famous example is a very famous psychologist slash author, Oliver Sacks, who even wrote a very famous, very interesting book, the book known as A Man Who Mistook His Wife for a Hat, which apparently literally happened. Someone thought that his wife's face was his hat. And that, of course, is a little bit off track from what we're talking about, but it is all related. Our brains are extremely good at recognizing objects and even trying to make objects out of something that is not an object. Such as this little dude right here, which, when examined closer, turned out to be a rock that was just shaped in a very different way. Same thing with the face right here, and the same for the picture of Gandhi's profile. But what about this doorway here? Well, once again, this is a type of pareidolia. We're seeing a human object, a doorway, in something that is naturally occurring and something that is produced geologically. Something that we have a pretty solid explanation for. By the way, the picture itself is available in the description below. And in order to figure this out, let's take a look at this beautiful panorama created by Neville Thompson using the data and all of the images collected by NASA. The doorway is somewhere right there. You can actually zoom into it and try to take a look at it in a little bit more detail. You'll notice that as you zoom in, things start to appear that you weren't really seen before. Specifically, well, it's not a doorway, it seems to be just a large crack. In other words, nothing here is going anywhere. And second of all, the edges are not as straight as they looked from a distance. So, alien door, it is not. But what is it, and how was it created? By the way, this image was taken only on May 7th of 2022, and it's uh, taken with a camera known as MassCam. Well, the solution to this problem lies right next to it. Okay, maybe it's a little bit more difficult to see, but here we go. Notice something right next to it? Well, this rock, if you were to pick it up, would most likely fit inside this. With this by itself being approximately 3 feet long, or about 1 meter in height, and that just happens to fit right here. With the answer being erosion. All of this was most likely caused by erosion, and the more detailed answer being available once we once again zoom into the doorway itself. Oh, do I keep calling it doorway? It's not. It's just a, I guess, hallway. No, it's also a bad name. It's a natural hole produced by erosion. So here, if we were to zoom in again, we'll start seeing what's known as strata, different layers inside the rock. 
and it also appears to be silt beds, something made out of relatively hard sand, with all of this very likely being sediments deposited when Mars was still liquid, basically liquid ocean or liquid sea deposits, although it could also be just a river as well. And since then, for billions of years, all of this was slowly degraded by the thin Martian atmosphere, eroding different layers, exposing them to the surface, eventually causing different layers to become exposed, with all of this at some point becoming relatively unstable, and the gravity causing the chunk right here to crack open and to fall. Although it's quite likely that there might have been also an earthquake involved, which we know happened on Mars, with one of the recent ones detected and explored in one of the previous videos right there, or in the description. As a matter of fact, there is a possibility that the recent Mars quake that was approximately 5.0 on Richter scale could have produced this to begin with, especially because the erosional levels on the inside are not as high as on the outside, suggesting that this is a more recent development and something that didn't happen too long ago, although exactly when we don't really know. And the thing is, if you look around this image, you'll discover some other relatively straight lines, and specifically relatively straight cracks, which at least in theory can also produce other doorways as well. There's another one right here. No aliens involved, nothing unusual. Moreover, you can see quite a lot of signs of erosion that happened over billions of years, pretty much across this entire area, with quite a lot of large rocks present in other regions as well, which also were very likely produced in a relatively similar manner. Here's actually another one that seems to have produced some kind of a triangular structure as well. Once again with a lot of vertical cracks and even horizontal cracks, which are more or less straight. So basically these fractures are absolutely natural. Moreover, similar structures exist on Earth and have been detected in a lot of different places on the planet. As a matter of fact, if you just google unusual rock structure on Earth, you'll find like hundreds of them. But honestly, the most famous one, and I guess my favorite one, the one that's led to even almost like a religious cult, is the iconic structure known as Al Nasla, the very strange rock with a very straight line right in the middle. All of this located in Saudi Arabia. And strangely enough, it's still not entirely clear how exactly this was produced, but it's very likely because of, once again, corrosion and also periodic rain, with most likely some kind of a sandy deposit present between the rocks which eventually turn into this relatively straight line. But as you can imagine, people tend to explain this as some kind of an alien laser, or maybe some other laser from somewhere else. Anyway, we know that this is natural and it's been studied for many many years. But to scientists finding these strange formations on Mars and actually studying them in detail helps them figure out what sort of geological processes Mars as a planet has gone through in the last few billions of years. And so by using various rovers and by looking at all of these formations, it becomes possible to reconstruct the history of the planet. And as you can imagine, quite a lot of different unusual formations have been found in the past, with some of them potentially only existing on Mars and nowhere else, with many of them eventually leading to, once again, pareidolia. Even from some really iconic people, people that are generally considered to be ridiculously smart. Let me give you the most famous example, Arthur C. Clarke. Yeah, the 2001 Space Odyssey Arthur C. Clarke. A tremendously brilliant individual and a person that's highly respected, but everyone is fallible and everyone makes mistakes. And so did he in 2001. Using the pictures from Mars Global Surveyor collected back in 2001, the actual 2001, not the movie, Arthur C. Clarke believed that he might have seen trees in some of the photos and even detected certain types of branches that seemed to vary seasonally. And at that point he made a really strong argument that what we are looking at is vegetation, very likely Martian trees. And from this angle it does kind of resemble something tree-like. And some of these branchy formations look very extraordinary. And they also change seasonally, they do disappear and they change in shape. While others resemble tiny spiders. Once again, to some extent, changing in shape every season. And well, here's one of the more detailed images taken in the last few years. Today these are known as Martian spiders. You can read a little bit more about this from one of these articles in the description. And more officially it's known as the Araniform Terrain, a kind of a mound that seems to form when carbon dioxide ice below the surface heats up and starts to release gas, which is an active seasonal process but it's not seen anywhere else in the solar system because nothing else has these conditions. And because this is Mars, here the CO2 doesn't melt, CO2 ice just sublimates, turning into gas directly and creating these formations in the process. 
So in essence, it's formed through carbon dioxide gas building up a lot of pressure and eventually breaking through the surface with jets erupting as dust. With the darker dust deposited around the vent and then transported by the winds as well, eventually producing the streaks you're observing. But once again, because this is seasonal, it changes every single Martian year. And from a distance, appears as if something is moving on the surface, something that could resemble trees or basically spiders. But once again, natural, explained, and even recreated here on Earth several times. As a matter of fact, we've discussed a lot of these in some of the previous videos, somewhere right there or maybe in the description. And so here it's really important to understand that a lot of these extraordinary assumptions or propositions often end up being nothing else but, well, just unexplained phenomena that we do not have on planet Earth. You might want to explore this other video I made on the so-called Martian blueberries, which were suggested to be mushrooms, where we've discussed this in more detail and I've even showed you examples from planet Earth where we have very similar formations and they're not mushrooms or blueberries, they're just rocks. And that's the thing about Mars. It has very different geology to planet Earth, so we expect to find different types of weird rocks or unusual shapes that we don't see anywhere else and might even resemble objects we're used to. Hearts, angels, weird bone-like structures, but none of them are. All of these are just unusual rocks. Or other peculiar geological structures because of the interaction of CO2 and because of the seasonal changes on the planet. And I think this is a perfect example of how this works on Mars. Nine years apart, the image looks relatively different and shows us how Mars can actually change quite a lot with a lot of surface features changing in the process. In this case, the changes were entirely due to the melting of the ice on the surface. But in other cases, it's really due to unusual dune formations or different types of structures which simply don't exist on Earth because the Martian atmosphere is much thinner and so the erosion here works a little bit differently. As a matter of fact, here's a really good example of how different and strange Mars is compared to our own planet. These dune-like formations are actually formed by very neat piles of what seems to be rocks. And they might have been formed through the so-called freeze and thaw cycle, where with every single season, the rocks were slowly moved into tighter and tighter shapes by the ice around them and eventually produced what you're seeing here. And it becomes a little bit more obvious once you zoom into the picture and explore some of the rocky formations. Now, I guess it's still kind of hard to see, but that's what the scientists got out of this picture. And some formations are truly unique. We definitely don't see anything like this on Earth. Today, the scientists are not entirely sure what this is caused by, but they think it's maybe dry ice sliding down these sandy dunes. Although initially, it was even proposed that this could be signs of maybe liquid water, but then it was disproven pretty quickly. And so when it comes to mysterious, unusual objects, Mars definitely has a lot to offer. But we always have to remember about pareidolia. We have to remember that what we're seeing is probably not what we're seeing. As a matter of fact, in the past, most of the first explanations for various phenomena have been proven incorrect once the additional observations have been provided. And though a lot of these explanations ended up to be mundane, many of them helped us realize Mars is just very different. But because we're human and because we tend to explain mundane things with extraordinary explanations, which also is a psychological thing, which we'll probably talk about in some of the future videos, this unusual formation instantly became the so-called alien doorway. But doorway it is not. Well, on that note, you can as always find all of the links in the description below, and you can also explore the picture by yourself by using one of the links. Once we discover more unusual stuff on Mars, or once we actually find something that's difficult to explain scientifically, I'll make sure to follow this up in another video. Until then, thank you for watching, subscribe, maybe share this with someone who has learned about space and sciences, and come back tomorrow to learn something else. Support this channel on Patreon by joining a channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.